Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm sure most of you have heard about the Tonex pedal. Either you have one, maybe you're checking it out. It's a really affordable profiler and can pretty much replace your amp on stage. Now it's not a multi-effects unit, but it does have reverb. You know, but there's no chorus, flange, delay, or anything like that. You'll need to supply that stuff yourself, but hey, you may already have a really good pedal collection and they should work just fine with the Tonex pedal. It comes with 150 different models, listed in 50 banks with three per bank. For the most part, each bank has a high gain model, a drive model, and a clean model. You switch from bank to bank, pressing down a combination of two of the foot switches, or you can do like I did and get yourself a little two button switcher that lets you go up one bank with one foot switch and down a bank with the other. But you also get software with the Tonex pedal. You get the Tonex Max software, Plus you get Amplitude 5. That's part of the Tonex ecosystem, which is described on the IK Multimedia website this way. Tonex is a complete ecosystem based on a powerful new AI machine modeling technology that lets you experience thousands of ultra-realistic tone models of amps and pedals today with the promise of unlimited new tones to come. Using our most advanced modeling ever, every tone model created is virtually indistinguishable from the real gear. Browse and demo a huge selection of historic and iconic amps and pedals from IK. Choose between three affordable versions and play them anywhere. On Mac, PC, iPhone, and iPad. Or model your own rigs and share with others on ToneNet. Enjoy your own signature tones on the go, in the studio, or even live on stage more easily than you ever imagined. Then visit ToneNet to browse and share your tone models with other users for endless inspiration. With a full ecosystem of solutions, Tonex combines incredible authenticity, flexibility, and power to massively expand the way you experience tone. Now you get access to thousands and thousands of captures, most of them free. Now you can download them and then move them to the pedal. It's all really cool once you get it set up, but man, that setup procedure was just something else. Let's just say it's a major exercise in frustration. I mean, right out of the gate. I'm most likely going to forget some stuff, but it all started with downloading and installing the IK product app. The download went okay, but then during the installation it stopped and said, path not found. What? I'm supposed to create a path for new software that's being, you know, installed on my system? Seriously? Isn't this software supposed to create any directories and folders that it needs? Well, apparently not and I had to go searching out on the web to find out what that path was supposed to be. And let me tell you, that was not easy. Right now, I couldn't say where it was I found it, but I did find it. The path is documents forward slash IK multimedia forward slash IK product manager. Like I said, I cannot even remember where I found that, but it definitely was not in the user manual. And that's another thing, the user manual for the software that took forever to find. Now, however, the manual for the pedal, that was real easy to get. At this point, I retried setting up the IK product manager. <laughs> hey, it worked. But then you have to give them an email address and a username to get things going. But that's another thing you have to remember. Which email address did you use and what's your username? And I never did get any verification emails from IK Multimedia saying that I had set the account up correctly. But I finally got that done, and it was time to install Tonex and Amplitude 5. The installation went okay, but when I booted up the Tonex app, there was a red circle over on the right side. So when I checked my account info, it said, you are offline. It didn't give me any way to get online, it just said, I'm offline. Okay, thanks. So how do you get online? Eventually I figured it out. Click on the ToneNet emblem over on the right side and it'll connect you. Now, when I say eventually though, 
I'm talking like almost two days before I figured this out because I had no manual at this point. I don't know why it doesn't connect you by default, but I'm sure they have a reason for that methodology. At this point, everything was working correctly and I had the Tonex pedal connected and the Tonex amp was seeing it. But that's when I found out that there's no real editor for the Tonex pedal. You do all the editing within the Tonex app, you save your presets there, and then you move them from the app to the pedal. Eh, a little clunky, but it works, I guess. Right now, I've mostly been trying the different presets on the pedal. I've been uh, messing around with the Tonex app, but I have done nothing at all with the Amplitube app. But even the little bit of messing around that I did with the Tonex app, that was frustrating. I was able to download presets from ToneNet, the repository where they store those thousands and thousands of presets, but I had no idea where they were stored on my computer. I only found that out in the past week. If you're having that same kind of trouble, here's what you do. Open the ToneX app, click on the Librarian tab, and if the ToneNet emblem is lit up, click on it. It needs to be gray. Then click on the little funnel right next to where it says Collections. Those are your search filters. Right now, mine says 1161 models found. Go to Tier, click on ToneNet, and now you can see all the various models that you downloaded from ToneNet. And speaking of ToneNet, have you gone to the Tone.net site yet? I'm not really sure what it's used for other than browsing different models and presets. As far as I can tell, you can't download anything there. What I have found is that you can browse through the various models there, listen to a demo, and if you want to download it later, click on Like. Then open the ToneX app and click on the ToneNet emblem to light it up. Then click on the filter funnel and select Liked Tone Models. Close the filter list and the bottom window will be filled with all the various models that you liked while you were browsing at Tone.net. Click any model from that list and you can download it or move it directly to your pedal. If you want to move any of the models that you downloaded to your pedal, go to the bottom window, select the preset that you want to move to the pedal, and then drag it up to the top window to the slot where you want to move it. You'll get a message saying, the selected presets on the pedal will be overwritten. Do you wish to continue? Your choices are cancel or overwrite. Select overwrite and the new model will be moved to your pedal. Okay guys, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten with it. Now I did adjust the input trim level from 8.5 to 13, and I also checked out some of the menus and set up that two pedal switcher. Now being the lazy guy that I am, I could probably stop right there, not learn anything else about it, and be really, really happy. But I know that there's more to learn, especially about the apps. So this is where you guys come in. If you have any questions on the Tonex pedal or the app, Leave a comment here and I will do my best to get the answers for you. That way we all can learn something new.
Now this Friday, we're gonna take a look at scenes, snapshots, and gapless preset switching. Now, you don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week, and I will see you on Friday.